Amusa Games is proud to present Circus, a game of jugglers, clowns, magicians, and more. To start, set up the game as described in the rulebook. The game is played over seven rounds, consisting of three steps each. On your turn, execute each step in order, starting with the box office step. The first facer poster card in the line is the active poster card. Receive one victory point per upgrade cube on the performers in your circus caravan with the same specialty depicted on the poster card. During the first two rounds and the last round, this box office step is ignored. Next is the rehearsal step. Play one or more upgrade cards from your hand and add upgrade cubes to the performers in your circus caravan. Each card has a cost in the bottom right corner that is paid by discarding additional upgrade cards. Each performer can only have one upgrade cube of each color. Inspiration adds a yellow cube to performer of your choice, with a variable cost dependent on the number of cubes on the rightmost act in the arena. Talent is a card that remains in play to allow you to add a blue cube to a new performer each time it matches this upgrade card's gender. Impression allows you to add a red cube to any of your performers if the rightmost act's gender matches this card. Costume allows you to add a purple cube to all your performers with the same or different specialty, depending on its symbol. Practice allows you to add a green cube to all your performers whose gender matches this card. Once each turn, you may discard two upgrade cards to advance your player disc one step on a development track. When you advance on the performer track, immediately add a new performer to your caravan. Advancing on the upgrade track determines the number of additional upgrade cards you can take at the end of each round. Lastly, the bonus point track determines the number of victory points you score for upgrade cubes in your caravan at the end of the game. The last step of your turn is the showtime step. Choose one performer and all its upgrade cubes and add it to the rightmost position in the arena. For each cube your performer has in common with the previous performer, you score one victory point. For every different cube, you score two victory points. Remove all the upgrade cubes from the previous performer and return them to the supply. If there is a performer in the arena with the same specialty as your new addition, discard that previous performer and all the performers to their left. Now take new upgrade cards equal to the number of performers remaining in the arena plus the number indicated by your position on the development track. Draw a new performer card and add it to your circus caravan. After all players have executed these actions in turn order, the poster card for the round is turned face down and a new round starts. In the final round, each player executes their turn as usual, followed by the grand finale. Compare the remaining performers from all players. The performer with the most upgrade cubes within each specialty scores their owner three victory points. If tied, the player earliest in turn order wins. Then, according to the bonus point development track, score victory points for all your remaining upgrade cubes. The player with the most victory points is declared the best circus director and wins the game. Advanced mode is played with all poster cards and will thus last 9 rounds. It also adds in two new ways to rehearse, but both can be chosen one time only. One allows you to discard one upgrade card to switch a performer with an opponent or the arena. The other allows you to remove two upgrade cubes from the rightmost performer in the arena. So what are you waiting for? Step right up and play Circus!